Hello gamers, I'm Bart Wari, and yes, this is a new game on the channel. The game is called The Wild 8, and it is a game I, I bought uh, after a suggestion from Reto, one of my patrons, one of my uh, subscribers on, on YouTube, and he told me, have a look at this game, and it was on sale, so I bought it. Now, what is the game? The game is actually a top-down survival type game with some, uh, yeah, it has a story to it, so uh, I played around with it a little bit yesterday in single player, but uh, I will be starting all over today and um, try to make a series out of it. It's harsh, it's not easy, but yeah, it has been fun. So I will be starting a brand new game, a uh, single player game. Maybe at some point we will be doing some, some multiplayer with Reto, we will see. So single player, apparently we will go for Survivor because that is the way the developers intended you to play the game. So let's do it, start the game. Now the whole thing, starts with uh, there was a plane crash and you are uh, one of the eight survivors in alaska the cold north uh, you can pick a character to start with and uh robin okay co has melee attack power and stamina recovery william has some defense and protection from the cold uh, learning skills is chang uh, vivian crit rate more wood more air. Jeffrey, the ability of crafted items, and Oliver. As you can see, each of those characters has its own uh, treats or bonuses. I think I will be starting with William today. Let's have a go. So here we are. And the tutorial starts. Build a shelter. So it is a survival game. Uh, it's not really point and click, although you can set up your mouse to have uh, move to the cursor with one button if you want to it's in the options let me show you really quick the options options controllers c w a s d to move q to and e to rotate the camera move the cursor you can assign that to a button if you want to i have it set up by default so it is a mouse button for but you could do just about any you could use the left click if you wanted to uh, left click is actually attack and use right click is throw so yeah it is possible to rebind all that if you need and I, have, I haven't done this, so. so you move up to a point and you see this one here, canned food. Uh, we will need that, uh, more canned food, we will need that, what's this, canned food, also we will need that. And there is a lot of stuff here in the area, this is, oh, oh that scared me, I thought it was a wolf. Wolves are dangerous in, in this game, a medikit, yes, why not? Uh, now the whole thing is, you see here at the bottom, you have uh, three indicators. One is your health, the second is your hunger, the third is your cold. So since we are in Alaska, it's pretty important to stay warm. Now, fires give you heat and you see the bar raise again. This is something I've, I discovered during my single player uh, session from yesterday. I was trying to build a tent far away from uh, the crash site. And yeah, I was getting cold all the time, so I had to burn fires to keep myself warmed up. But apparently, when you stay close to the burning fire of the crashed airplane, uh, it helps. It helps to keep you warm. So the, the tutorial says use Q and E to rotate. See, rotate 90 degrees, and then you can uh, do stuff. Now, it also says, says I should be building a tent. The build system is under the B key. At least that's what, oh, V. No. Take a tent out of the emergency box. There is an emergency box. I did, oh yeah, this here, probably. Yes, I have the tent. Now I can build shelter. Shelter can be built uh, using the B key. And here you see shelter. I will be setting up shelter here, I guess. Yeah, not too close to the, well, actually I should probably get closer to the burning, the shelter. Uh, should be as close to the fires as possible then I don't have to set up my own campfire but you see hunger is a problem that's something I discovered yesterday as well hunger is a real big issue I the times I died was due to hunger and the problem is when you die you have to start all over again you can learn various useful skills such as sprint in the shelter Yes, this is your uh, your skilling system. Now I have one point in here. Uh, you get points the more you use stuff. So the more I will be running around, the more points I will be gaining in that as well. Hold sprint. Sprint is the shift key. See, then I can sprint a little bit faster. 
Of course, that uses stamina, but that isn't really a problem. Now it says gather 20 wood and 10 ore. This is relatively easy. You just go up to a tree and you start chopping a tree. While you're at it, make sure you pick up everything that's edible. Berries. Oh, more berries. Perfect. Because you will need the food. Oh crap, you see? I'm already hungry. Uh, wait, it's five. And then F key to use it. F key to use it again. So I need to get some wood and some earth, probably to build my workshop. Yes, build a workshop. Uh, you can just press and hold the mouse button to uh, hit threes and yeah, get your wood like that. I need 20 wood and I need about 10 ores. 10 ores can be gathered from the big rocks in the area. Uh, 20, yes, that should be enough, should be enough. No, there is a rock close by. Yes. See, this is a rock, so I can hit the rock to get some uh, some hours out of that. And once I have the necessary hours, I will be able to build myself a workshop. Let's do that really quick. Okay, I have everything. Ah, boars in the area. They will be good to get some meat, but they are dangerous. Uh, build. This is the workshop. Yes. Where do I want to place it? Let's place it up here. There you go. See, I'm hungry again. Hunger is a issue. Uh, I cannot eat the mushrooms, at least not until they are cooked. So I think I will be... I'm gonna have to use the canned food already. I don't really want to do that because that's a resource... Uh, that's not very common. It does give you a lot of hunger back. But yeah. Oh. Inside the workshop, you can craft various items uh, to get some more resources. I need to craft a stone axe. Let's see what I need. What's this? What's that? Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Never heard that sound before. Let's hit some more, uh, some more rocks. I need five ores and uh, I think about ten. Well, let's grab a few more ores. I will need an axe and I will need a pickaxe to get more wood and more stone. Well, to get wood and stone faster, I mean. Okay, let's uh, go back to the campfire. See, I'm getting hungry again. Uh, not good, not good. So, I can make a stone axe. Craft. And I should be able to use that. Open up your inventory using the V key. Now I can drop it in here and I can use two weapons. I can switch between weapons between the uh, two weapons with the X key. So that is good as well. Oh crap, it's getting cold. Get closer to this. Access increase the amount of you wood you can gather. So I need to gather more wood and I need to build myself a campfire. Campfires, campfires will be used to uh, keep you warm and also to cook stuff. So uh, yeah, I will need to cook stuff. Like, for example, when you kill a boar, you get meat, but you need to cook the meat before you can actually start to eat it. If you don't, like, same thing with the mushrooms, for example. You can eat mushrooms, but uh, if you don't cook them first, you'll get some poison effect. I'm going to be putting that up maybe a little bit closer to my tent, yes. Mm, this side of the tent? Yeah, why not? There. There. How do you turn on the fire? Well, you just click it, it will put wood in it, and now it's burning. Drop mushrooms on it, and they will start cooking. Once they are cooked, you can pick them up, and then it's safe to eat the mushrooms. So four, yeah, it's on the four, F key. See, it, re it gives you some, some uh, hunger back. Well, it, it makes you a little bit less hungry, but uh, uh, next up, craft a stick and drag it over the campfire to make a torch. Okay, so that's up here. Craft a stick. I need more wood for that. Okay, 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 wood. Oh, some wood dropped here from me, cutting down the tree. If you think movement is a bit strange, that's because your character is running, well, it's facing the direction of your mouse pointer. So sometimes you're running in one direction and your mouse is still uh, heading the other way. So it, it's it's a bit strange here. Yeah. Uh, I need a stick. Yes, craft a stick. There you go. Put it on the campfire. 
to make a torch. There you go. Pick up the torch. No, pick up the torch, I said. Pick up the torch, man. Where is the torch? I'm gonna have to use that, uh, that other can of food as well. Okay, I have my torch. Uh, yeah, I have to. I don't have any other meat. Check out the smoke to the east of the crash site. Use your map to avoid getting lost. Oh yeah, the map. M key open up, opens up the map. So this is the little section we have discovered for now. You see, uh, I have my stuff up here. And uh, let me show you how big this thing actually is. I'm zooming out. So this is the area I just discovered. Look, <laughs> the map is huge, man. And in my single player session, I survived up till uh, day six or seven, something like that. And uh, I discovered the next few things, but I'm not going to be spoiling that. Uh, not right now, at least. So what else can I be doing? I will need to take care of food. Food is going to be a big issue. So don't really go out too far if you don't have enough food. Now, this is interesting, the throwing rocks. Uh, the throwing rocks somehow stun animals. So you throw rocks at animals and that stuns them. Okay, let's grab some more of this and make a set of throwing rocks. I'm hoping to be able to catch uh, catch a deer or something, or maybe a rabbit to get me some, uh, some more meat. And once I have a, a fair set of meat, then I should be able to, uh, to adventure out to go to the east, as I said. So let's make all the, all the rocks, the throwing rocks we can. There you go. So I think I will be needing a stick to fight. That's five to nine damage, five to nine. Yeah, I can use my other things to fight as well. I'm going to be getting myself some more rock, some more oars, and maybe make myself a pickaxe too while I'm at it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Things are, of course, breaking. The more you use them, the faster they will break. So yeah, I have my axe. That's fine. Let me go check my... Oh, come on. What are you doing now? Yeah, uh, maybe interesting to know is that this game is still pretty much in early access, so there will be bugs. We are uh, bound to encounter bugs. Day two. I won't last without food. Yes, I know. See, food is going to be a big issue. And we're, we're running through the food pretty fast as well. I do not know uh, if there is a way to change that or not. But yeah, we're running through the food at an insanely fast rate. Also, yeah, it's dark, so maybe, maybe I should get into my tent, get some sleep. Wait, yeah, sleep. What does it require? 20, ah, oh, 20 wood and five stones to sleep. That's actually uh, a lot. I haven't tried playing around with sleeping yet. I played through the game without any sleep. Maybe not a good idea, but uh, I just wanted to see what it had to offer. See, I gained a gathering skill point. So that means I can go to my tent and check if I uh, can get some advanced stuff with that. Uh, wait, this is X and I should be getting more stone. Yes, 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 yes. So the axe for getting more wood, the pickaxe for getting more stone. There, let's switch back to the axe. Come on, walk, walk. I still think the, the whole way to uh, make your character move is a little bit strange. From time to time I had issues, especially if you have to go hunt uh, a deer to catch some meat. You have to sprint, um, press your buttons to walk in the right direction, sprint and then uh, throw the stones, which is a little bit hard to do. Hold on a sec, what else did I need? Uh, let me check this. I gained another point in sprint, but I cannot use that yet. Oh, this is interesting too. Upgrade your backpack. Yes, this will give you a backpack, which is one additional slot to uh, stir st stuff in because that's all you can carry, right, actually. This is uh, all the stuff I can carry, but now I can put this in here. Well, later on, I will be able to. Now, if I want to get to the next point, I will have to upgrade my, my shelter, which I can actually already do right now. I have... 20 wood, I have 20 ores. There you go. So I upgraded it. Now I can spend the next point in mobility and in warming up. Oh, darn. Shelter. Uh, um, a blizzard. 
maybe maybe I should sleep it out. Oh, I don't have the. See, <sighs> yeah, okay. I will have to go grab grab some more ores. Ores, man. Ores is what I need. Am I getting two? No, I'm using my pickaxe. Wait. Yeah, that's better. See, food again. Food is a real problem. I should be able to find mushrooms and other things, but... The question is... Oh, berries? Yes, berries, please. Anything else worth eating? Nothing anymore. I can use those berries, but that will not give me a lot of hunger back. Well, uh, I won't be fed all that much with that. Now, I could try to catch that deer to get the meat, but that's going to be pretty tough. Uh... Yeah, I need to go back to the fire as well. It's way too cold out here. And I'm probably better off sleeping uh, until I'm ready. You can enable automatic sleep extensions for 20 wood and 5 hour every 2 minutes. So, yeah. I'm sleeping. I'm not losing hunger now while I'm sleeping. So, that is fine. I am regaining some uh, some warmth because I'm close enough to the fires, so that is good as well. It's noon, so maybe it's a good idea to wake up now. Is the is the blizzard over? Wormhouse sleeping heat. Yes, the blizzard is over. So yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to get myself some food. I can use the energy bar, but that's the last piece of food I have. But I I will have to. I will have to. So let's go find something to eat and something to kill. Berries. Well, not really what I need. But hey, I'll have to settle with that for now. There is a mushroom up here, so that is fine. I'm gonna have to cook them because you cannot eat the mushroom here. This use the rocks uh, and do it like that. Oh crap! Sprint. Yes. Come on! Uh, mm. See, it's difficult. It is difficult. Of course, I lost half of my rocks now. Let's go back. Cook the mushroom really quick. Oh, there is another mushroom here. Nice. Is this berries? No berries? No, no berries. I need to find something close to me. Oh, berries. Yes, I'm back at the campfire. This is all fine and dandy. Okay, let's turn on the campfire. Nah, why am I doing that? Okay, sorry about that. I will have to eat, eat, not eat, eat. There you go. And I have oh, another blizzard, really? I'm so unlucky with stuff today. So cook the mushrooms. There you go. Fire extinguished. Ah, oh, crap, yeah. With uh, with the blizzard, I need more wood to keep my fire going. That's probably a thing. Wait, those are cooked? No, they are not cooked. And I cannot sleep again because I don't have the wood to sleep. Ah, oh, this will be messy. Messy. Wait, X. No, X, I said. Use the correct tool, please. Oh, I see it in the top right corner now. The tool is breaking down, which uh, yeah, will be dangerous. Come on, cook the food, man. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die pretty soon. I need to catch something. Uh, put the other one. Too bad. You cannot really put the whole stack on the fire to cook them. That's a pity. Yes, okay. F. I'm fine again for a few. Not for not for all too long, sadly. I'm gonna have to kill something. The problem is catching the reindeers is tough. And killing the balls. Well. The reindeers. I don't think they attack back. The balls. The balls might kill me. But I'm gonna have to get some food. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Nothing up here? No? Nothing in these boxes? Maybe I have missed something? No, I don't see any mushrooms nor... Uh, berries? Any 
anything in here. No, nothing. Also, it's pretty... Wait, 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 wait. Can I catch this one? Where is it? It's also hard to see. Maybe rabbits. Sometimes there are rabbits in the area. Really nothing? Oh, I heard something. Reindeer. Reindeer will provide me meat, but they are nearly impossible to catch. That's a big problem. See the boar? I could. I could do the boar, but the boar will kill me. See? Oh, now my axe is broken. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there is something up there. No, nothing up there. Of course, the fire will kill me as well. Stupid boar. I need your meat. There is wood up here. <sighs> yeah, stupid boar. Come back, yeah. It will kill me. Done. Oh, I might get... Oh, no, no, no. Stay here, stupid boar. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. See, moving is tough. Especially if you have to chase something. Uh, I can't really sprint all that long. And having to press four or five keys to actually... <coughs> see? Throwing stones stuns it. <coughs> Come on, kill it. No, not the tree! Ah. <coughs> yes, I have meat. Good. I have one set of meat. Oh, will it be enough to keep me alive? Two sets of meat. Nice. That's good. That's a good start. If I can get that meat, I will survive a little bit longer. Not all too much, but at least a little bit. Fire. Yes. F key. Ooh, I almost, almost died. Famine. Yeah, it's, it's a big problem. For me, at least. I, I do not know if... if if other people have the same problems as I have, but I seem to have a big problem getting meat or catching stuff. Wait, what? what's up here? Stone axe. I cannot make the sharpened bone because I don't have the stuff for that. I could upgrade to get some armor. Get a rabbit trap. Mm, what do I need? 40 wood, really? 40 wood. By the time I have 40 wood, I will be hungry again. Oh yeah, my axe is broken. I need to make a new axe. Uh, not in here. In here, of course. Make myself a axe. There you go. At least I have that. F. Put you on the hotbar. There you go. Check if I have some skill points gained. Yes. Warming up increases protection from cold during movement. Okay. So this bone extraction. Yeah, let's get some bone extraction going. Uh, I have a shield which will breathing resistance increase my defense. Yes, please. Offense. Increase the damage of melee attacks or increase the speed of attacks. Maybe I should increase the damage of my attacks. There you go. I leveled up a few things which is fine. So I need wood and I need stone. 40. 40 of each. Will take me all. Will take me all. I didn't even venture to the east to discover the rest of the plane. Hmm. Now, dying is... Uh, is hard in this game because you lose everything. Not only the materials you have on you, but also your progression. You're starting from scratch. The only thing you do not lose is... Well, the trees you have been cutting down in the area. So if I cut down trees close to my base and I die, then I'm gonna be get back and uh, yeah, the trees will be gone. They do not respawn. Okay, I need to upgrade this. Let's upgrade. Yes. And check now. Maybe I can make some armor. Oh, I need more wood now. Okay, wood. Wait, hunger again? <sighs> so tough. So tough. I need another ball. And of course, another blizzard is hitting. Uh, it's not my lucky day. Ooh, I see a ball. I have seen a ball. Problem is, 
it's too cold to go chase it now. I need to stay close to the plane to regain some heat. Mm, otherwise I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm fine for now. Let me check the armor. Can I make the shoes? Yes, I can make the shoes. Can I make the wooden armor? Nope. I need 40. 40. V. V. Shoes. I do not know what the shoes will do. Maybe they will help me to uh, to cover more land, cover more ground faster. I hope it also protects you from uh, from animal bites and stuff. Uh, if, if, if that reduces some damage from things like uh, the boars, then I might be able to kill boars fast. Ooh, blizzard is gone. Quickly go grab the rest of the wood I need. I need 40 more to get the armor. And once I have that, I will be checking out the area to see if I can find something worth killing. Oh, wood. Yes. Yes, please. Anything I missed? A piece of wood up here. Great. So I can make the armor now, I think. Here you go. Craft the wooden armor. Yes, please. Anything else I can make? A rabbit trap. I haven't seen any rabbits yet. Rabbit food. Ah, uh, yeah, the healing solve. Haven't seen the, the the plans to make the healing solve yet. Oh, wooden armor. I look so awesome now. <laughs> I need food, man. Food is something I will be needing. Blizzard again? Oh, you have to be kidding me, man. It's not my lucky day. I could sleep, but I don't have the stuff to sleep. I need 20 and 5... Yeah, 1 p.m. is... Okay. 20, yes. Let's X and do this. Yeah, then I can at least sleep a bit. And sleeping will keep me warm. Come on, get closer. Yeah, sleep. Ah, I can sleep until the morning. I think maybe this is also a perfect opportunity to wrap up today's episode. We didn't do a lot, we just discovered the basics of the game, but I'm pretty sure I will be playing this a little bit more. And maybe next time we can go to the east and see what we can find up there, or at least get myself some food. I hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, feel free to press the thumbs up button. And if you have comments, suggestions or ideas, you can post those in the comment section below the video. And uh, check out the description for links to the socials and links on ways to support me as well. And while you're on the YouTube page, feel free to also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscribe goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I will be wrapping up today's episode. So until next time. Have fun and stay safe. Bye.